think it's getting worse. It makes me feel like a fucking idiot when we're not on the same page. We are on the same page. Not out there, we weren't. Not about the girl. I saw you get soft. What do you want me to do, Beck? Put a bullet in her? I want you to think about our family first. It's all I think about. So don't give me any shit. I need some air. What the hell are you doing? I... I need your help. Me? No. I'm sorry, but I can't do nothing. Please. I need to fix my arm. Are you out of your mind? Even if you ain't bitten by some lurker, which you probably are, you can't be here. You gotta get out of here, you understand? Get back into that shed and Carlos will take care of you in the morning. Damn it, girl, go! I can tell that you're nice. I ain't nice. Yes, you are. Don't you do that. I see what you're doing. I'm serious. You need to get out of here. I saw when everyone was arguing. You wanted to help. You didn't see anything. Look, you gotta get out of here before my wife finds you. I'm serious. You gotta go. I got enough problems already. We got a baby on the way. Rebecca's all emotional. Got a mess of hormones causing all sorts of trouble. Please help. Please. Don't cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm just... tired. You're not with Carver. No. And you didn't get bit by a dead person. No. I'll do anything I can to help your situation. Anything. Except leave me alone. Yeah, I guess. I'm screwed if anyone finds out I did this. You understand? Yes. What do you need? The bu the cut on my arm needs to be cleaned and stitched. Stitched? I ain't doing that. I'll figure it out on my own. All right, look. I don't know what I can find. We're short on bandages, but I might be able to find something clean that will work. I need something to clean it out with. And a needle and thread could help, too. I don't even know where to look. Carlos has medical supplies on lockdown. We don't got much these days. Well, whatever you can get, I'll find the rest on my own. Okay, wait here. I found you some bandages. And I, uh, I got you a juice box in case you're thirsty. Thank you. Alvin, house meeting in five minutes. Oh, okay, thanks. Now you need to go.
Dante has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of this. Measure. Anyone else would be supposed to be in here. Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. Why? What will he do? Get mad at me. What does he do when he gets mad? He gets angry, and he says he's disappointed in me. And then he just loves me and wants me to be safe. That's it? Nothing else? Yeah. It's the worst. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. You want to see it? Uh, it really wasn't one of them. It really wasn't. Me. I 
I need something to clean it with. And I need a needle with thread to sew it up. Do you know where those things are? My dad has some stuff for cleaning with the supplies. Kind of burns. I don't know if he has stuff for sewing, though. Really? Seems like he would. We don't have much. He's still trying to restock since we moved. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. Yes. We are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. I promise. Me too. Friends. Pinky swears forever. I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a gun. Let me look around. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Thanks, Sarah. Have this baby. <laughs> Let it be okay. Let it be his.
is gonna suck. I just wish it was better. Krista showed me. What the? How the 
the hell did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? The shed should have been safe. I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. You wouldn't have done what you did. What do you mean? You manipulated my daughter. I asked for her help. She's not someone you can just ask for help. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, but there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, You'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left. And I would ask that you stay away from her. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Yeah. You know, I get it. You're pissed that we locked you up, and I'm sorry. I just want to say I'm sorry for, well, for being a dick out there. And I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway... Hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. So, since you're 
pretty much on your own. What's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You can let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Does it matter? I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. Look, you don't have to say if you don't want. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He's the reason I keep my hair short. What uh, happened to him? The same thing that happens to everyone. But he saved me first. Lots of times. Well, sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah. He was. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Maybe you fooled everyone else, but not me. Don't talk to me like that. Oh, what? You can't pull some shit on me. I'm not my husband. You should watch your language if you're going to be a mom. You should watch your ass if you know what's good for you. I just needed some help. Well, you got it. Now go. Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth. You should probably think about being nicer to me. That's just my advice. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her bite. She's mean. I don't like her. She did come on a little strong. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that, I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. Yeah, but not a rifle. Well, that makes sense. Less kick. This thing would probably knock you on your ass. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridgeline. 
The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me, and of course the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Cause you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well I didn't know that. I want to hear the rest of the story. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. You should tell him that. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs, that much I know. Think about it. Your Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. doing here Can I help? I got it. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky dink pissing match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself! What if someone's alive, Nick? Who cares? Cause they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess. I'd be more useful with a gun. I don't doubt it. At some point, you guys have to trust me. Hell, I trust you. But not everyone's at that point yet. Give them time. Look, just keep your head on straight. Same deal. All shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were.
That's my backpack. <coughs> you were in the woods with Krista. The woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me. <coughs> Please. Fine. Just just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Lurkers! I'm out of ammo. Come this way. Bitch. Damn it! You get your asses over here, both of I'll you! I'll cover you! We gotta get out of here! Get over here, god damn it! Can't you listen to me once? Just one time? I've got ammo! Listen to me, damn it! I see a way out! I'll cover you! I've got... got about four, five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. I thought you were dead. Above the deep, 
the hearts above the line, above the line. We vow your life and blood. This is not our home in water. Never found. Just try and keep your way in the water. Oh, against the tide, we struggle. The skin wearing, skin wearing. Against the tide, we struggle to keep our heads above the deep. The hearts above the line, above the line. And who we are today can never make amends for what we've done. Tainted blood. And his eyes, his eyes are full of love. Above the deep, the hearts above the line. 